Hey folks, welcome to part six of the Tableau Desktop Specialist Practice Exam Series. Our first question is gonna be true or false, a discrete date pill on the row shelf will generate an axis in the viz or in the visualization, true or false. Now this is definitely one of those topics you really wanna focus on when it comes to, you know, blue pill versus green pill, discrete versus continuous, uh, as far as the Tableau Desktop Specialist exam is concerned. So um, to answer this, we're gonna use the help of Tableau. So again, I'm gonna open up a new sheet like I have here, and let's just say we have a simple visualization where we have order date and we have profit, so we can see uh, kind of profit over time. And maybe we use um, a line chart to help demonstrate this better. So first thing you'll notice, we have year of order date here, and then we have sum of profit, of course. And right now, this is, uh, you know, the year of order date is a continuous pill. Um, how do we know, or a continuous field? How do we know that? Again, because it's a green pill. If it's a green pill, it's gonna be continuous. Uh, if it's a blue pill, it's gonna be discrete. In fact, if I right click on this, you'll notice continuous is checked off. And as a byproduct of that, this is the uh, corresponding uh, header or axis, if you will, for the year of order date. If I right click here, you'll notice it says edit axis because we're talking about an axis. Anytime you see something continuous, whether it's a measure or whether it's the date, you're talking about axis. So over here, as you can see, um, even though it says show header, it also says edit axis because at the end of the day, this is an axis because we're using a continuous field. Now, if I wanted to have a blue pill or if I wanted to change this to a discrete um, field, which I could do by clicking discrete, you'll notice the visualization, first of all, did change, but now it's a blue pill and again, discrete is checked off. Now if I right click over here, you no longer see the ability to edit axis because this is no longer an axis. It's actually a header. And that's in Tableau terms, the official uh, difference, right? So anytime you're working with a discrete field, that's gonna have an axis associated with it. And anytime you work with a green pill or a continuous, such as profit over here, you're gonna be working with an axis. So important that you know that distinction over here. So for purposes of this question, a discrete date pill on the row shelf will generate an axis in the vis. And by the way, it doesn't matter whether it's on the row shelf or column shelf, that doesn't make a difference at all. It'll only the color or the data type essentially is gonna dictate that. So even if I bring it to rows over here, it's not gonna make a difference. Um, it's still gonna be a header when you're talking about discrete and a uh, an axis when you're talking about continuous. Uh, actual solution here is going to be false because as you're aware with a discrete date pill, which is gonna be blue, it's gonna generate a header, not an axis. So that's the solution here. By the way, if you do enjoy videos like this, consider liking the video and subscribing for more content just like this. Next question, which element is not directly editable within a Tableau dashboard? Is it going to be data source, your filter configurations, the container placement, or the mark colors? So again, let's go back into Tableau over here. Um, and we're gonna actually go to the data source tab. And we're gonna try and identify if there's anything you could actually change as far as the data source is concerned. So as soon as this loads up, you'll notice that we now have access to this canvas where we have you know, the different tables that have the relationship and we see the underlying data here. Now, important to note, right? Um, a lot of these fields, it's not like you can you know, right click. So for instance, we're looking at the order table over here. If we click on people, we'll see people. If you click on returns, you'll see returns. But are you able to actually change any of the underlying data? If I right click this um, and try to edit something, can I do so? No, you can't. Really the only thing you could change is maybe the data type and like give it an alias, but you're doing that at the Tableau level. You're not doing that at the actual data source. The data source can only be modified at the data source layer or you know, if you're using Tableau Prep Builder, that's where you would do any kind of manipulation. But on this front end layer, you really can't edit the data source. The source is what the source is. So data source is something you can't directly edit in Tableau. That's probably gonna be the correct solution. But let's go through some of these other options. How about the filter configuration? So as it relates to something like dashboards, right? So let's see, I have a dashboard three over here. And once this loads, 
what I can now do is bring in a particular sheet such as sales by category and if there's any kind of filters that I could bring in such as category I'm gonna click that and now this is effectively a, you know a filter now can I configure this a different way can I maybe have a drop down instead of check boxes yes I could certainly do that if I want to maybe you know because right now you just click on something and it automatically takes effect do I want to maybe add an apply all button can you do that yes you go to customize and you know have the apply button and now you have to hit apply before it you know the changes take effect so that's what you know we would consider a filter configuration are you able to change that yes you have a bunch of different options that you can choose from so that's definitely not going to be the correct solution because that is something that is editable within a tableau dashboard how about a container placement so again we are in the tableau dashboard uh, tab if you will and if you go on the layout layout tab over here You'll notice you have, uh, you know, that's essentially your layout, right? And if you go back to the dashboard tab, you can bring in a different set of objects. So let's say I didn't have this visualization at all. Let's say I wanted to have like a vertical container and then I wanted to have a blank in there and then I wanted to have a horizontal in there. And then, you know, that's where I wanted to, um, to add one of my sheets. I can do that, right? I can move those containers around, work with the layout using containers. So as far as container placement, I could actually move this around as well. So again, by exposing the layout layer, I can click on something and have that container highlighted. Maybe I want this to the left. Can I drag that container to the left? Absolutely could. So you have full control over that kind of stuff. So that's not gonna be the correct solution. Last option is mark color. So again, these three bars, they're essentially three marks. If you notice on the bottom left here, it says three marks because this visualization here is three marks. Can I change the color of these marks? Well, let's see if I click on color, maybe click on this, you know, shocking red color. Can I change that? Yes, absolutely you can. So the only correct solution here is gonna be data source because that's the only item on this list that you cannot directly edit in Tableau. Next question. Tableau can automatically detect geographic data based on field names like city or country. Um, if you look here, I'm connected to the sample superstore data set. I haven't touched a thing. If you look at location over here, right, you have the country slash region, you have the region, you have state province, city, postal zip code. You have a lot of these elements that um, ultimately represent something geographical. But what's neat is a lot of times Tableau can actually detect those names and based on that and based on the underlying data it could profile and know that this is a geographic data type so if you look there's actually a globe icon next to it if i right click you'll notice it actually has a geographic role assigned to it um, out of all the different options right it could have been date or time it could have been a number it could have been a regular string but no it's a geographic field because tableau is able to do that automatically and it's smart enough that once you even have that configuration set up, if you were to drag country into here, it would generate um, a map by default. Same thing, if I drag in city here, it's gonna you know, generate a map by default. So what does that tell you? Um, it tells you that this is completely true. Tableau does automatically detect uh, geographic data based on field names like city or country. So that's gonna be the solution here. Next question, what Tableau feature allows you to switch between different views or dashboards dynamically as a user? Is it going to be stories, dashboards, workbook, or data sources? So what is a story? That's the first option. Well, this icon on the, on the most right-hand side of your three options. So you're either gonna have a worksheet that you could create, a dashboard you could create, um, or finally a story. So I'm gonna click on story over here. And now you'll see that um, I can actually drag, like um, I can create a story point, right? So essentially over here, you would have access to your different story points. So let's say I wanna drag this dashboard in here into this story point, right? Now I wanna drag another uh, uh, worksheet, I should say that, that was a worksheet. Let's say I wanna drag another worksheet here. I can do that as a separate one, right? So this is my number two, and this is my you know number one. You could name it, you know, whatever you'd like. Um, and now I wanna maybe, you know, cause I have two sheets, I wanna drag a dashboard in here as well. I can do that, right? So now I have, uh, you know, three things. I have one, two, and three. I have my worksheet one, worksheet two, and I have my dashboard, which if I go to that dashboard, you'll see that it's actually the same two sheets on that dashboard, if that makes sense. So 
Um, this is definitely a dynamic way to change between different sheets and dashboards um, in a user setting, right? So if I was to publish this, this is exactly what you would see as a viewer. So story definitely looks like the correct uh, solution. How about dashboards? Does a dashboard allow you to switch between different views or dashboards dynamically? It does not. I you know, a dashboard in itself, um, something like this, is not going to allow you the ability to, you know, maybe pivot from this to another one. There are hacks that you can use to show and hide different things. There are actions you can add to maybe go to a different URL. Um, but as far as a dashboard allowing you to switch between different views and dashboards, that's not something a dashboard is capable of. So that's not going to be the correct solution. Last option is workbook. Um, in a sense, you could say that kind of sounds like a correct answer because this is a workbook that I have open, right? It's a TWB or TWBX file, and I can switch between sheets and dashboards, but not from a user standpoint. That's more from a developer standpoint, someone who actually has access to be able to modify a Tableau workbook. So that's not gonna be the solution only because it's not something you do dynamically as a user. Um, so that's not gonna be the solution. Last option, data sources. Again, there's no Tableau feature other than stories that's gonna allow you to, um, you know, switch between different views or dashboards, especially not data sources. We just covered what the data source tab is, and that's not something that's gonna allow you to switch between views and dashboards. So again, the solution here is gonna be stories. Next question, which Tableau feature would you use to create a detailed tooltip that includes visuals? This should be straightforward. We just covered this in one of the last videos. Is it gonna be viz and tooltip? Is it gonna be tooltips? Is it gonna be dy dynamic tooltips? or embedded charts. What is the official term for when uh, you wanna create a detailed tooltip that includes visuals? So a lot of times, I mean, you do have like, uh, you know, generic tooltips, like I could have a view like uh, sales by category and I can mouse over and it'll just, you know, show you some of the information. But when you're talking about a view within a tooltip, right? Visuals within a tooltip, what is that called? Well, for this, let's reference, again, the Tableau documentation, creating views in tooltips. The official term is viz in tooltip. That's the actual name of the feature. You should know that for, for the exam. So that's gonna be the solution, viz in tooltip, right? Tooltips, on the other hand, are very gener generic. They're not gonna include visuals, just some data points. Dynamic tooltip might sound correct, but that's not the official term. That's why it's not the solution here. And again, embedded charts, that's not an official term either. So Viz and tooltips is gonna be the only correct viable solution here. Quick pause. If you like these videos, but you're serious about acing the Tableau Desktop Specialist Practice Exam or Certification, I've got news for you. Check out the link in the description if you're interested in practicing with an even more realistic set of practice exam questions. There are at least five different practice exams, 45 questions each, with the proper distribution of exam topic areas. You'll know exactly which questions you got right or wrong and what the correct solutions were. Now, there are a limited number of spots available, so be sure to take advantage of the limited time offer because as you know, practice makes perfect. And that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the video helpful. As always, be sure to like the video. It really helps the channel out. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, as always, I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Yeah.